Hi guys, it's Ben here and welcome to the Liverpool vs Hoffenheim preview on a day in which it looks like Barcelona have given up their pursuit of Philippe Coutinho. So Liverpool are set to take on Hoffenheim in the second leg of their Champions League playoff, but there's only one place to start today, and that is the saga that has been dragging on now for a few weeks. Philippe Coutinho to Barcelona looks like that is dead in the water for this summer at least. The bid of course, that pathetic bid of £80 million pounds plus add-ons, which were never really going to happen, has been withdrawn. We didn't even respond to it. That Sunday 7pm deadline, that laughable deadline, we've just let it pass. Barcelona have seemingly given up, and Philippe Coutinho unless something drastic happens between now and the end of the window, will be a Liverpool player come the 1st of September, and this is obviously music to our ears. My stance changed, you know, I, I thought he, I thought Barcelona put in a better bid than what they did. They didn't, they put in that pathetic one. They're not gonna go anything higher than that, by the looks of things, his agent has poorly advised Coutinho, saying he'd never play for the club again, starting to criticize Klopp and their relationship, and that the trust had broken down and everything. He's gonna have to, Put, he's going to have to come back into the squad, he's going to have to apologise and he's going to have to get his head down and play as well as we know he can for the rest of the season and maybe next year after the World Cup he might get his move. Look, there were times when I said maybe it's time the Coutinho left, um, it looked like it might have been a situation there was no going back from. Some of you in the comments agreed, some of you said we should just let him go, bring in Draxler, some of you said we should do whatever, whatever we can keep to make him stay. And that looks like it's, that's what's happened. Fair play to FSG. A lot of you hate them, but fair play to an understanding firm. Philippe Coutinho looks like he'll be going nowhere this summer. And that obviously means there'll be no incomings. There'll be no Julian Draxler, who I know a lot of you were calling for us to sign. He's available for £32 million. He's someone that we were looking at in January. But he's just not a player. It's not a position the club's looking to strengthen, which you know tells you what we need to know about how we're going to fare up for the rest of the window. Are we actually going to sign anybody? Uh, obviously, more has come out today about Van Dijk. But just to wrap up on Coutinho, as, as kind of was the case with Suarez, maybe less so back then, but I've got no personal feeling towards Coutinho, I've got no you know, affinity towards him on an emotional level. He's going to come back into our side and as long as he plays as well as he did before his injury last season, then absolutely brilliant, I'm absolutely delighted that he's staying. Of course, if he's going to sulk, then it's a different story, but I get the feeling that he's been poorly advised, as that's what James Pearce is saying in the Echo today. and. Hopefully his feelings aren't actually as strong as what was put across in the media, obviously how he was advised by his representatives. It's a shame what happened, but this is not really much different to Suarez. Suarez probably even worse. Uh, he wants to go to, to Arsenal of all teams, whereas Coutinho, what is dreaming to Barcelona? We just weren't going to do it this summer. Uh, and as, as I say, fair play to FSG. The player looks like he's going to stay unless we get a monster bid uh, between now and the end of August. So, fantastic news. We can press on with the season with a brilliant, brilliant array of attacking options. Same can't be said for the defence. Uh, Southampton have signed a left side of centre-back, Hoyt. So, does that change their stance on Van Dijk? I doubt it will. I still don't think they're going to want to sell to us. Um, so, in all honesty, I think it may be all over as far as this transfer window is concerned. Mamadou Sacco isn't even going to leave by the looks of things, we're pricing everybody out. Things might just pretty much stay the same, I mean I was expecting a mass clear out, Markovic, Moreno, um, Sacco obviously, I thought one of the keepers might have gone, some more loans I was expecting, I know Ojo has gone out but Moreno Kent might even stay, obviously we have got rid of a couple of players, Kevin Stewart finally left and one or two others but on the whole the mass clear out I was expecting just hasn't happened. Nothing's happened really, apart from Salah and Solanke and Robertson and other bits and pieces. I'm, I'm kind of surprised that Emery Chan's not even signed a new deal. That seems to have not really been resolved. So, an underwhelming, a disappointing window. Look, something might happen in the next couple of weeks that will blow us out of the water. Naby Keita, may that still be on the table. Oxley chamberlain still kind of, the odds are quite short on him joining Liverpool. So, maybe we can expect something. But the, the noises that we're hearing, there's no alternative to Van Dijk. I can't see Southampton selling him to us. I really can't. I think Chelsea are going to go in big for him. I think he's going to. I think he's just desperate for the move. I think they're going to willingly sell him to them. And I don't see us competing for the Premier League title. I'm sorry. I think Man United look too strong. Uh, I think there are a lot of other teams that are going to be stronger than us. I don't think the squad that we've got now is good enough to compete. I still think we can finish in the top four, maybe top three, uh, maybe even you know push for the title. Uh, somewhat, especially early on in the season, but I just think our squad isn't thick enough, we haven't strengthened enough, we haven't brought in enough bodies uh, to deal with the absolutely busy schedule, especially if we get into the last stages in Europe. 
I'm not particularly confident. Um, hopefully I'm wrong. You know, this is we still haven't clicked yet. We've got four points on the board after a couple of games. We showed on Saturday that we can grind out wins, one nils. Um, just not convinced it's going to cut it when you look at United and how how many goals they're scoring. Lukaku's going to score at least 25 goals this season. Um, you look at Lacazette, Arsenal, likewise. Harry Kane's going to start firing soon. Chelsea looked pretty good against Tottenham, even if I'm not quite convinced they're going to do as well this season. So. I'm not particularly pleased, but we may have to live with it. That's just the way it is. On to Hoffenheim. This is a game which, you know, I'm very pleased with our 2-1 lead going into it. And we obviously are favourites to see it out. And off the back of the, the win and the clean sheet on Saturday, I think we'll pro feel pretty confident that we can see this one through. Are we going to keep a clean sheet here? Perhaps not. I think we might concede one. Uh, but you do back us to score in every game at the moment. And Personnel-wise, I think we're going to bring Mohamed Salah back in. I think Sadio Mane is going to play again. Firmino up front as well. And other than that, I think it's going to largely be the team that played him in the first leg. I think Robertson deserves to take Moreno's place in that side. So I think it should be something like Mignolet, Trent, who can come back in after his rest of the weekend. Matip, Lovren, who I wouldn't necessarily pick if it was me. I thought Clavin did okay and probably, you know, it's it's just as much of a shout of starting as, as Lovren, but I think he will stick with Dejan for, for Europe for now. Then Robertson, I think, should come in at left back, and then you have your midfield three of Henderson, Chan, by and then obviously the strikers, Mane, Salah, and Firmino. So I'm relatively confident. Uh, I don't think it's been a thrilling start to the season, obviously, and the win over Palace on Saturday was hardly one for the for the record books, but I think we can do enough here. I think we might see another 2-1 win, so that a four to aggregate wins take us into the group stages. In... In not jubilant mood, obviously we've got Arsenal at the weekend, they're having similar problems to us, they just haven't quite clicked and defensively still not great. Uh, they still feel like they're one or two players short, I've seen some of their fans calling for Van Dijk and one or two others. I, I still think we're one or two players short, but seems to be being accepted pretty widespread now, this might just be it. And I know you're all going to be devastated, I'm really underwhelmed by everything that's happened in the last couple of months. I thought when Salah came that was going to be the start of it and we kept hearing from all the journalists, this is the start of it, this is the start of it. Look, I'm delighted that Coutinho is going to stay by lots of things, even if it's not by choice as far as he's concerned, but I'm devastated that we've not brought in another centre back. There's time left, I know, and you're going to comment saying there's time, don't panic, I know, I know, it's just instinct now. Um, and my opinion keeps changing as well. I'm sure two or three videos ago I was saying, look, we're going to get Coutinho and Cater and, and Van Dijk all in a Liverpool shirt in September. But look, now, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think so. It's all down to Southampton, I guess. Um, we obviously want Van Dijk. I don't think they're going to sell him. That's simple as that. Leave a comment with your thoughts. Leave a comment with whether you think we're going to get Van Dijk or anybody else. We're not going to get Draxler. I still think Cater's unlikely. Oxlade Chamberlain looks pretty dead in the water too. Let me know your score predictions for Hoffenheim as well. Do you think we're going to progress into the group stage of the Champions League? And how far do you think we're going to get in that competition? Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Please do subscribe to my channel for more of this sort of stuff. Drop a like, share the video for me. And follow my other socials. It's Ben I Say on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook. I'll see you next time.